St. Lucia, like other small island developing states, is working assiduously to achieve the United Nations 2030 Agenda for the Attainment of Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs. As such, the UN sees building collaboration with countries like St. Lucia, including assisting with various crises to build resilience and mitigate against climate change as significant factors that ensure the attainment of the UN set agenda. UN Resident Coordinator for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean, Didier Trebek, says the UN is pleased with St. Lucia's pace with SDG achievement. We have done a lot of strides in our collaboration here in St. Lucia. We have a country implementation plan that focuses on, of course, responding to the various crises the country and the region have gone through recently, but also to build resilience, uh, to build adaptation to climate change and mitigation to climate change. We discussed about the overall agenda of the Sustainable Development Goal in St. Lucia, how the Ministry is working towards strengthening the coordination mechanisms, but also monitoring the achievements and accelerating progress uh, given that now we have seven years uh, left. Honorable Sean Edward, who holds the Ministerial Portfolio for Sustainable Development, commended the Department of Sustainable Development for its tremendous work in collaboration with various departments within the Government of St. Lucia in putting the island on a path towards the successful attainment of the SDGs. But in as much as we have that coordinating responsibility, um, the work program of the government is such that the actual um, projects and programs that would lead to the realization of each of the goals, you would find that in the, in, in the remit of different government departments, but we coordinate. Other items discussed included the digitization of data, livelihoods and social protection, and ensuring that the most vulnerable are not left further behind. Mr. Trebek says he is heartened that St. Lucia is doing much within its capabilities in reducing the worrying issue of youth unemployment. And all the work that is currently being done, especially to respond to the worrying situation of youth unemployment here in St. Lucia, and all the work that is being done to make sure that as many St. Lucians as possible have the opportunity to access uh, educational opportunities, either at university level with scholarship, but also uh, to access vocational training in order to respond better to the need uh, of uh, the labor market in St. Lucia. And that's very important if we corroborate this with uh, the issue of perhaps, um, uh, you know, insecurity and crime and violence. It's really uh, our common objective uh, in our partnership with uh, St. Lucia to make sure that social cohesion is sustained. Meantime, Minister Edward says he was also very pleased with the overall discussion held and looks forward to St. Lucia further deepening its relations with the UN that will redound to very tangible returns, especially where the youth is concerned. Um, we've had a problem with youth unemployment for a number of years now, and the Prime Minister, in his wisdom, saw the need to create the youth economy where resources from the national budget have been set aside to encourage young people to, to um, venture into entrepreneurship and to basically look for creative ways to provide for themselves and, and, and take care of that over-reliance there is on government to make things happen for young people and the population. The resident coordinator for the UN also pledged the United Nations continued support in dealing with the surge of crime and violence within the sub-region, saying it is a common objective that ensures social cohesion is sustained, making citizens and at large communities feel safer. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.